2015.5 video tutorials. In this video, I'm just going to show you a very, very quick and very basic way of selecting this obviously body and face, but not selecting the gradient using the new feature of select and select a mask. Now, just select that and you go into this, it's got a whole range of different options and I'm not going to be able to go through even half of these things. There's so many different options, but uh, there's just going to go over here, quick selection tool. You can quickly select. Also, you can refine the edge and brush. Now, they're great, but I think personally, just very quick and easy. You just use this tool for most, for lots of things. I'm certain for people who want to really get the fine around the, like the hair. There are going to be whole heaps of videos on that subject, but this is just a quick video to show the basic just select and, and really does it in quite big brush strokes you can just see what you can just do now you can of course do the reverse you can actually go here and just say subtract from selection and actually do the reverse it's quite nice chops it away very quickly and it actually does quite a nice job i mean i i mean i'm i'm certain that for people that really want to go for the fine lines of, of the hair I'm certain there's going to be very carefully and there's other tools like I say the brush tool so if you want to you can go brush tool and then select that and you can change the size of the brush so you can just go in there and say 30 or you can go down to very very close and then just brush in the selection of course it's all in so you can just you can actually see the result there and you can go around and just brush that in very carefully if you want. And of course, there's other options over here. Now, you can modify it like a feather, so you can make that just not so particularly visible at this point. Obviously, if I save it, you'll be able to see the feather, but I'm just gonna put it back there. Also, can modify shift edge. Again, all these, these are great options. These are for other videos. Now, one thing that's nice, you can actually go for view mode. And I find this one is fairly reasonable. You can actually see, and I'm just gonna finish off the whole thing. I haven't done the whole thing. So I'm just gonna just say, just select that and then select that and see, basically it's done. It's that quick. It's really, really quite fast. And actually, I could, in past, I would have spent ages going along there and I would have spent ages going along there. And I'm not, I must admit, the most patient when it comes to doing selections. I'm certain some people are a lot more patient than I am for to go around carefully doing that. Now, another good feature is that you can actually go for onion skin and you can see the results there. You can also see marching ants. And you can see that I actually haven't done a great job, particularly for all the way down there. So I'm just gonna oops, plus there. You can see it just selects all that. Sometimes that's the one thing about the, which is nice with the different modes. So you can't always see. Something looks like you've done it. Of course, you've got red there. You looks like you've done it. Then suddenly you go to marching ants, and you can just select through these. It just goes at black, and you can just run through them and think. Well, actually, to be honest, I mean, actually, the thing that would be really nice. Another feature I think that would be great. It'd be nice to save that as a silhouette. It'd be nice to save it as a shape. You can actually quickly shave, you know, just without any further. But but there's also on layer, so you can actually see the result. Now that might be the best one as well, because if you're going to do what I do, which is generally put it to a new layer, you can do it selection. But I do like layers and split them. And it would be nice if you could split it into two, two the inverted and not inverted. But now, in this case, you can clear it. And also you can, as I say, you can feather it. You can actually see the result of the feather. You can see there, that's much, sort of, and you see the contrast. I'm not going to keep that. And you can smooth. Okay, it doesn't really shift edge. Not much effect. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Right, could put that there. Also, you can click invert, which is quite a nice one, because then you've got the, basically, the thing you actually properly want, which is the, the person. And right, once you've actually done that, you can go down here to decontaminate, and there's also 
selection. So you can put it to a selection, a layer mask. All of them are very useful. Like new layer with layer mask, that's quite useful as well. New document, sometimes I do that as well. New document with layer mask and so on. Be nice if there was some even more options. I'm certain there's like silhouette to a shape, that would be great as well. Those sort of things to a brush stroke. But I'm gonna go for a layer. So you just click, for some weird reason, I've got down there, it's just cut off, but click OK. Depends on I spec on the machine. And there you have it, it's a really quite nice, very, very clip. And another great thing, and I've just moved that, and I'm just gonna undo that for you. You'll notice the, what it does, it leaves the previous one. Now that's another thing you can do, of course, you can actually just duplicate it before we go in and then maybe create a inverted, or you know, the actual selection. That's another way of doing it. So you've actually got the background there. So you can actually use that quickly, bring that back in again, go up here, and maybe go for layer, layer style, crop shadow, very simple, quick and easy, just to do that. So just selection, size, and so on, so on. Click OK. Right, that's just a very, very, not the world's greatest around there, but certainly for many, many things other than maybe hair, it's actually a really good selection tool, and I've certainly found it uh, very useful for many selections. And let's like say, of course, you can go and maybe go back to that one and do maybe a different selection. You've still got the original. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.